from me. And they try to buy your pretty heart, but price too high. Baby, you can't get like I do. Your love will not fall apart. So you can't put me again and throw me against the Today, we'll be talking about grooming and also abuse, right? Grooming is a part of abuse also. So, let's just, let's say seven. How do you know if an older man is grooming you? We ought to hear Arian Curry say, I was so young. I was so young. She's getting involved with this married man, and that's her excuse. But let, I'm going to keep going, keep going. Grooming is the process of normalizing inappropriate behavior between minors and adults. If an adult tells you to keep secrets or starts giving you gifts out of nowhere, it, it may be a red flag. It is also not normal for an adult to want to spend lots of alone time with you or offer you alcohol. So in this case, they probably talking about a little child. But right here, it says an adult can be groomed as well. How about like, I'm being abused, physically abused, and you can't tell anyone. How about like when, uh, example, when Martel tells Melody, keep our business in our home. How about all the many years that Melody was quiet? She was quiet and trying to hide the fact that she was being abused. In this case, we're talking about emotional abuse. In this case, even if I tell, even if I'm yelling, screaming, or physical abuse with you, you can't tell. And most of uh, most abuse. Uh, abusive people don't tell. They don't tell. Seven red flags. Who is this by? Businessinsider.com. What is grooming? Seven red flags that you're being groomed. How to spot it. How do, what does it mean when a man grooms a woman? Grooming refers to a pattern of behavior that Predators use to gain access to people who are vulnerable. They build trust and ultimately gain control over them for exploitation. It can be physical or sexual or emotional manipulation. Uh, let's see what this is. Can an adult man groom an adult woman? Grooming. You may have heard the term as it applied to children, but adults can also groom other adults, even at work. So we're going to see, we're going to do this uh, fiancé, the fiancé. In this case, the, the fiancé was a young lady. She was 18 when she met the man, and he was 49. And throughout this relationship now, she was being groomed. It was, first of all, her first six months was fine. The girl ended up not having nowhere to stay. He says, okay, you can come stay with me. But guess who else was staying in the house? His wife. He took this little girl home. And the little girl had nowhere to go. She said, nowhere, nobody. Her mom had put her out. She had nowhere to go. He took her home and, and then told the wife that she was just a little girl, a little friend that needed help. This is what the part of the story is. But this girl, he groomed her the first six months. And then by the time he took her to the home, she found out he was married. He had a whole wife in there. Let me keep it going. 
By definition, grooming is when someone builds a relationship, right? He built that relationship with that young girl and he built trust in her. And then she had an emotional connection with this man, with someone so that they can man manipulate, exploit, or abuse you, right? So, this is when a man tries to groom you. What is narcissistic grooming? Let's see. Narcissistic groom. All right. It's no secret that narcissistic abuse abusers groom their victim carefully, sometimes meticulously. Grooming is simply the process that abuser used to convince victims that they, the abuser, are safe, loving, and victim themselves in order to keep the victim in their relationship. So they act they 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 act good for uh, being a victim. Well, today we're talking about grooming, you guys. Did Martell host groom Arian Curry? Arian always say, I was so young. Oh, if, oh, if I knew what I, I knew now, I was so young. But the most identified form of grooming is called love bombing. You love bomb me, says uh, Destiny. That love bombing means that Destiny, perhaps, she felt like she was being groomed. But your abuser groomed victim by appearing to be the perfect partner, right? At some point in a relationship, abuser do whatever they need to do in order to make the victim feel loved, safe, secure, and wanted. Now, what do Arian always say? He always come back to me. He oh, that That's that safety that she felt. She feels safe with him to know that whatever he do, he gonna always come back to me. Now, I'm gonna tell y'all what we're talking about today is family and fiance, right? This young girl is eight, 19 years old and the man she met is 49 years old. Right now, they've been together for six years, y'all. But let me just tell you, while most people with uh, narcissistic personality di di uh, disorder are not aware that they are narcissists, they're not aware that they are narcissists, it's important to remember that no abuse is acceptable or excusable. Now, I'm going to go to Melody, did he, did he groom Melody? Now adults can be a groom. Now we talked about these age different. The first two uh, people that was Arian, right? There was an age different between her and Martell. The second was the second victim, young lady is her name is Latasha or Natasha, and his name is Victor. Victor is was 49 when he met her. She was 19, you guys. Now, um, he don't appears to be thinking that he is a narcissist. While I was watching Family and Fiance, I noticed the two parallel uh, thinking that this man had with this younger girl. Okay, for, he wanted her to accept being uh a cheater, yeah, he want to groom her to be a cheater, right? He want to groom her for domestic violence. You just got to keep this in the house. You ain't got no business telling nobody that I am physically abusive to you. This is what Victor is telling her, Latasha, that we learned on the show. But now let's go on to this case now. Oh. Uh, is Martell continuously grooming uh, this young lady called Coleslaw, Bed, Bug, Arian Curry? Is he continuing to groom her to do what he wanted to do? Is he continually grooming her for this court case you guys coming up? Right, she got a court case coming up and it's a civil case. They claim that uh, in this civil case, that Martell 
a lawyer would draw, she would do. So when the nurses go in, you know, he thinks he can groom the lawyer too. This is a different kind of lady. This lady is independent. She's also his lawyer. Oh, yeah, I don't know what happened, but I think they say it's a conflict in communication. Of course it is. Of course it is. Because when he when he walks in that door and first thing he say when he sees that there is a, 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 a female, yeah, well, why can't you? Anything he asks that lawyer, anything that lawyer tell him to do, he's going to, well, why can't you? Meaning, why can't you means that whatever, say, say, why can't you have that dismiss that I have to go to these classes, right? Y'all know about the classes where he was ordered uh, to go to some kind of psych evaluation. Well, why can't you do that? Why can't you have the judge dismiss that? So, in other words, you guys, we're talking about grooming. This analysis will think he can groom in a lot of ways, right? It don't necessarily have to be the one that he's love bombing. If she's a female like this lawyer, I don't know what happened between them, but that communication breakdown is going to be where he's telling her what to do, right? She got to do what he tell her to do, right? They want you to turn a blind eye. Turn a blind eye. Don't pay no attention to, to, to all the bad things that are done that I done. What you got to do is pay attention to what I demand you to do. They want you to fulfill all of their needs and expect very little in return. They're not gonna give you any, anything in return. They usually want you to just shut up. Analyst, can you imagine that? Can you imagine that having a female lawyer be a Martell lawyer as a female? Just shut up and listen. You got to acknowledge what I'm saying, right? You just got to acknowledge what I'm saying, and then whatever I say is the word. So today we're talking about grooming. Did Martell groom Arian? Did Natasha Victor groom Natasha? Let's just see. Let's just see what grooming is first, and then we're going to get to the story. Well, the drama never stopped, stopped unfolding on Love and Marriage on Spirit Cast. Remember, Martell Hoax, Mrs. Winter is, Rebecca Winter is his lawyer. She has withdrew from the case. Don't know much more than that. Don't know what he did, but probably he had one of those emotional, erratic moments, and she wasn't having it. So she has dropped, withdrew from this case, the civil case. This is uh, Katasha and Victor, and they're getting married. Well, I was kind of nervous. Still got a few butterflies, but I'm doing all right. I'm Katasha. And I'm Victor, and we're getting married. Tasha and I met, she was working at the local grocery store. He was coming at every day, uh, fighting with me, <laughs> bringing me food and stuff like that. She'd be up there uh, at a register question and showing me hello to you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. Yeah, I could do this every day, though. Going down at me. Oh. 
So I'm speeding up, you guys. Because I'm going to the store. To Just to see her. Yeah. So this is how many years ago? Six years ago. So six years ago, you were 19. I'm 49. And you were 49. You guys have a really big age difference. Yes. How did this not? So that big age distance, this old man, 49 years old. Now, six years ago, I think now he's in his 50s. She just now in her 20s, you guys. Talking about grooming. Let's keep it going. Katasha and Victor, red, black, flying hot. Family or fiance. Uh, for either one of you, it's just to be an automatic in that way. I mean, because I was just trying to thank God my age. I want to try something different. Okay, well, you got different. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, okay, Victor, she, she tells you. How old she is? What goes through your mind? I knew how old she was. I didn't realize that if it was going to get serious. Okay. You know, I was married um, at the time. My marriage wasn't serious. Okay. But all marriages are. Oops, he forgot to tell her he was married, you guys. Let's keep it rolling. Serious? Well, I guess so, but I didn't take it seriously. No. Is that your only marriage? No. How many times have you been married? Three. We have that in common. Okay. <laughs> right. So what's different this time? What's different about Tasha? I'm in love. I was 27. So your kids are actually older. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When did you find out he's married? Uh, for my memory, it was like six months or less um, in a relationship. That's a long time. I don't know. I was upset that he didn't wasn't honest from the beginning. He told me, you know, it's a process and we're gonna work it out. That's what he told me. So we ended up getting back together. She will be in. Um, You're still living with your soon to be ex wife. Uh -huh. Now y'all that puts a whole new level to side chick and cheaters. He moved that young girl in on top of his wife. Tasha moves in. Uh -huh. How does that work? When I first moved it, they said like they was a couple, so he came up with a lot because I didn't have nowhere to stay. Oh. So he was just like, hey, I'm just stepping around, blah, blah, blah. So down the line, she started noticing, like, hey, I got something going on, then what's really going on? That's when Victor finally opened up and told her, like, yeah, you know, we've been together this time, I don't want to meet you no more, I want a divorce. So you didn't meet Katasha and start laying the groundwork to getting a divorce? No. You were just in a marriage and Dating. Yeah. How long did you guys have that um, arrangement? Not long. No, it was like a year. What? A year? So this, so the mistress stayed there a whole year, you guys. He groomed this little young girl. But she knew before she, she knew that he was married. Well, I don't know what to say about it, but I can say he groomed her. Who do that sound like? Who do that sound like? But it didn't work out for him at that fire of a hotel. Yes, at the grooming began. This Victor remind me of Martel so much. Only his plan worked. So the guy in the pink is Victor' best friend. The girl in the middle is Victor, a daughter, and the young man on the end is Victor's son. So they're all having dinner and they were. 